Hello, my name is Jim Britt. I'm a senior program manager within the Azure engineering team. Today I wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to export a Azure blueprint out of your existing AD tenant to an export directory and then take that export directory and import it directly up into either, either a new management group within the same AD tenant or a management group within a completely separate AD tenant. The blueprint I'm working with today as an example is the ISO 27001 blueprint. It's currently sitting in a version 1.0 and it's in my sandbox environment uh, management group called Jim's Management Group. The script I'll be working with today is called Manage-Azure RM Blueprint. Uh, you can get to that fairly easily by going to the PowerShell gallery uh, directly or by hitting this link aka.ms forward slash manage Azure ARM blueprints. My PowerShell environment here, I'm going to go ahead and save the script locally so that I can work with it. So I'll do a save script, dash name, manage dash Azure RM blueprint. I'm going to go ahead and save it to a local working directory, a uh, relative path directly into this directory I'm working with. In addition, I have more than one uh, repository. I'm lever leveraging a local repository, and there's also the PowerShell uh, repository out there on the PowerShell gallery. And so I want to reference the PS gallery as the repository I want to go and gather the script from. So the script is currently downloading off the PowerShell gallery, local into my machine here. You can see that the uh, file is directly installed. If I do a get-help, select my script and do examples. I provide six examples within here that uh, give you an idea how to use the script, different options for the parameters and whatnot, just to give you some familiarity with how this script executes. Within this script, we've got uh, several parameters that are available. Mode allows you to do either an export, an import, or optionally in a report. Uh, management group ID is leveraged for both import and export. The management group ID is the group, management group ID specifically where you're going to gather up your Azure Blueprints. Uh, and the management group ID on import will be your targeted group that you're going at. The report dir, if you provided a mode of report, report dir would allow you to export a CSV file of a particular blueprint, which essentially gives you the blueprint name and some specific details around the artifacts that are included within that blueprint. Blueprint name is a parameter to allow you to go after the blueprint specifically. Uh, I also provide the option of selecting a blueprint from a listing uh, during the execution of the script. Subscription ID is not used for any other reason other than to set the context for the particular tenant that you want to work with. And so the tenant, uh, AD tenant that you're working with, uh, setting that context is specifically uh, done through selecting a subscription. So you could provide a subscription ID within that tenant, or you can allow the script to prompt you for one. New blueprint name gives you the ability to be able to take an existing published blueprint, export that, and then re-import it into a target uh, location and potentially promote that up into, say, a production blueprint, uh, renaming it uh, as you're importing it. So I'll, I'll go through that process as well. Export dir and import dir are sort of somewhat obvious, but the exporting process will uh, require that you do uh, provide an export dir path to, to be able to export the files to. And import dir will essentially be pointing to the directory where you exported. Uh, to bring it directly back in, so reversing the process. On import, since we are doing uh, a modification to the environment, uh, I am prompting for uh, confirmation that you do want to import this blueprint within your environment. Uh, Force will allow you to bypass that prompt as long as all the parameters are provided within the script. So we'll go ahead and select mode uh, currently, uh, and we're going to go ahead and do an export. Again, it's requiring that we do an export directory. And for that export directory, I'm going to go ahead and just provide the relative path here uh, just to make it easy. Uh, but this could be any fully qualified path, C colon backslash, uh, exports, backslash, etc., and it will export to that directory. 
there shouldn't be anything else that we need on the command line here in order to be uh, to be able to get going. But again, you can provide any the number of the existing uh, parameters here that are left to, to be able to do uh, sort of non-prompted exporting. So I go ahead and authenticate you to Azure, or at least prompt you to authenticate to Azure if you're not already logged in. If you're already logged in, I, I take the existing context that you have already established, and then I, I represent the, uh, the subscriptions you have access to across tenants, if, if you have a separate tenants that, you're, uh, that you have access to. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, test subscription here, number three. What this is doing is, is providing you a listing of the management groups you have access to. Uh, if you don't see the management group that you're expecting, uh, go ahead and provide that on the parameter uh, for management group ID. The management group ID is the short name, not the dis friendly display name, but it is the short name. And so I'm going to go ahead and select number one because that's the uh, management group that I want to go ahead and export my blueprint from. Now, if there's only one blueprint within that management group, which there is in my environment, it'll go ahead and export the existing uh, blueprint because it assumes that's the one you want. If there were several blueprints within that environment, it would provide you a listing to select from one of the blueprints within the environment if you didn't provide one on the command line parameter. All right, if we want to take a look at the actual source uh, that's getting extracted here, how we do this is essentially provide a folder in this case, uh, the management group um, for this particular blueprint was actually called Jim's MG, the short name. Inside here, we've got a blueprint name. Uh, ISO 27001 was the name on my blueprint. If I would have provided a new blueprint name as a parameter on the export, it would have renamed this folder to the appropriate blueprint name. Inside here, you see the high-level blueprint, which is appropriately named Blueprint-ISO 27001. And then each one of these individual assets is uh, essentially the kind or policy assignment in this particular case, dash, and the actual name. Uh, in this scenario, I'm picking up the name as being the good. This, these are built-in Azure policies, and so therefore we're picking those up and then exporting those directly out. All right. So the next process I want to go through is actually doing the, the import of this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a manage uh, Azure RM Blueprint uh, dash mode being import. Uh, as I mentioned, you provide an import directory. If you don't provide an import directory, the, the script will exit and prompt you to provide a directory on the parameter. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, navigate a uh, relative path to my uh, folder structure and this is as deep as I need to go but I need to be directly into the folder structure where you see the blueprint uh, artifacts themselves. If I put another backslash here you can see all those blueprint artifacts and the blueprint itself but I'm going to go ahead and just uh, stop at this point. This is all I need to do uh, at this point if I wanted to import this in directly in without renaming the blueprint but as I mentioned earlier on I'm going to go ahead and give it a new blueprint name. Again, this, this would be the option of being able to go into a brand new management group uh, and uh, provide a new blueprint name on import. So essentially distinguishing this between, say, a QA environment or a production environment uh, code uh, blueprint. So I'm going to go ahead and call this prod ISO 27001. I could provide the uh, management group uh, here, uh, or I could also prompt for it. I'll go ahead and uh, provide the management group ID here uh, as the other option here. And I want to bring this directly into my root management group because I want it to live up in that uh, top level so that I can assign it down into my sub subscriptions across my hierarchy. So that's all I need to, to provide in order to be able to run through the process. I go ahead and select my subscription, and again, I could have provided this as a parameter, but I'm going to go ahead and just uh, select it here. As I mentioned, this is a uh, modification of the environment, so I am prompting to, to ensure that you are, in fact, wanting to import this into your environment. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click yes here. You could have provided a dash force on this to be able to import this in without prompting. 
As you can see here, this looks very similar to the process of export, only we're just doing the opposite. We're doing an import. I flip back over into my um, Blueprint environment. You can't see the Blueprint uh, here directly, but if I click a refresh on this behind the scenes, it's gone ahead and imported it directly into my root management group. So we see prod dash ISO 27001. It does bring in a draft mode. And the reason why it's doing this is essentially we don't want to uh, modify anything that you may have running in production. If you have an existing draft configuration that's out there for a blueprint that's currently in draft, this will overwrite that existing draft. So uh, that's another reason why we're prompting to ensure that you want to import this in. And we navigate in here, you can see that we see the top level blueprint name uh, that's been imported in and all the related artifacts. And so we see we have a successful import. At this point, you could go ahead and edit the blueprint and modify it accordingly, um, update any uh, information you want within here, and then go ahead and publish and assign it within your environment. So we went through a process of sort of going through the script itself and running through an export process, exporting to a, uh, a source or a export directory. In addition, we took that exported directory and we leveraged it during an import process uh, to be able to import it directly into either an existing AD tenant uh, and management group structure that you have. In my case, I went up into root, or I could have targeted a completely different AD tenant as long as I had access to that AD tenant and management group to import in. So I hope you enjoy uh, leveraging the script. If you have any feedback uh, at all whatsoever, please feel free to go ahead and provide the comments here, uh, and I'll take those as uh, feedback to update. And uh, thank you. Have a great day.